So here we just have a simple sketch where we have some arrays, timestamps and switch state and some simple variables and this is simply going to allow us to basically buffer our very quick events that are coming in from our interrupt routine while they're happening and then we'll be able to read them out to the serial debugger. So in setup we'll initialize our pins and our interrupt and then on line 40 we've put a breakpoint in so we can stop and, and get ready to collect our data and then press step on the PC. Then in this while loop is where we allow the interrupt to fire and collect all of our data up and then we can press step again from line 49 and then it'll emit all the data in the next loop before pausing for five seconds and then going back to the start. And then we just have a function at the bottom and this just wipes all the data out ready for the next round. So our first breakpoint is just a plain breakpoint where we stop. The next one has got a message that tells us how many events have been trapped using the current entry variable, which we can see here in the curly braces. And then here in our loop to emit the data, we've got a plot chart, which is going to actually plot the value of the switch state for us. And of course you could use analog values or digital values for this purpose. So select the debug serial option, ensure you've got your board and your COM port selected. And then we just need to build and upload. So we've delayed everything here by a factor of 10. So anything that would take 10 milliseconds in reality will now take 100. So we've uploaded our code to our board. So if we just load the serial debugger, we'll be able to see this in action now. So it stops at line 40. And if we step again, you can see here, that we've got 48 events have been trapped and this is by me just touching two wires together so a very poor switch with a lot of bounce if we press play again we can now see all of our data being streamed back obviously it's a tenth of the speed it actually happened and you can use the, the freeze controls and, and drag to zoom in on an area or reset the scaling so this can be very useful if you're trying to actually see what effects either some electronics like an RC circuit or some code changes have had on switch bounce in this example but of course you could use it for tracking your analog events or any other issues that happen too rapidly to just simply stream over serial so there we go it's a, a simple technique and obviously using all of the extra features of the charts in visual micro make this very useful to actually see what's happening on your circuit instead of just having to theorize or obtain an oscilloscope which can be quite an expensive venture for when you're just trying to get your switch to work correctly.